Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Interstellar Rift and um, continuing with our series of uh, building a ship um, based on a Star Wars um, concept we, we've we built the Lornar um, Explorer 9 ship so let's teleport to it ah, but before I will show it here I, I have to make some modifications <clears throat> so this is the ship as you remember and the model we use this this is corresponding to this ship uh, we're showing there from the Star Wars universe and um, yeah it has some semblance to it uh, not only in the exterior but in the interior I was um, one thing is that I was messing around with these uh, turbo lifts uh, I forgot how they worked well I, I don't use them uh, often and yeah I had I had issues with the power one problem with this ship is that while it's not powered um, while it's not powered um, you, can use, you cannot use the turbo lift this is an issue and since we had to assign the groups up here in this um, in the engine room then I couldn't do that but at the end I could uh, connect the grip to the to the device and here also I discovered that we are missing some lights one here and one there and I think that's it so um, let's test drive it we can just uh, accept a mission and try to complete it and this will be our test drive um, that's it I need some Food cartridge. Yeah. Okay, so let's accept some mission. Hydropex needs good, for example, and they need to deliver two thousand um, nanobots. Okay, accept it. Transfer to the Loronar. Okay, so let's test drive it. Take it for a spin. So this is it, guys. Our small ship. This is the cargo, the store, uh, storage area here. And then here's the power uh, section. Our batteries are currently charging. They are not, I think they are like 50% charged. But I think this is enough to take it for a spin. And probably, hopefully. Yeah, this is the other storage. And here is, uh, we missed that. Here is the turbo lift. So we get into the turbo lift. So this is like the, the corridor. Here is a storage room. This is the um, engine room. You see how the ceiling works out here. Well, I like that ceiling, it gives you like this industrial feel to it. And here is where you um, 
you assign the groups right so for example navigation I have assigned it the power the source group is power this is um, defenses the source group is power as well and so on right life support and the default group and currently they are um, I assign all the power to the to the navigation so we can um, charge and leave because because um, yeah the the if um, when the generators um, are not uh, are assigned all to the power then um, it's a generator per per group and this will charge at a rate of 150 per tick so this is uh, a very slow rate and to to like to boost this charging i will just um, load the um, i would assign all the the generators to one group in this case the navigation so this is our med bay here this is our printing room okay these are the shields the nanobots this is the cockpit here uh, we have this engineering station there and as you can see I'm charging now we are at 48 percent so this only contains the CPU what else am I missing? Well, I think this is it. Uh, the, and here is the or ammo loader. I don't know if we should. I think we should buy some ammo, right? Just in case we encounter some skrills. Well, one thing about this ship is, if we encounter skrills and we kill them, we we cannot. Uh, salvage anything uh, at the moment ah, and here is the okay this is um, or cargo 1000 oxygen why do we have 1000 oxygen there I don't know because the mission is only to deliver this okay strange I don't know how that got Okay, so let's buy some ammo, laser, so, there we go, and let's leave right now, because I think we have enough energy. Okay, uh, yeah. turbo lift. I will put this here. We can place this here for a moment. Okay, so let's um, let's assign the hydrogen um, generators again to the power group. So this is the external view of the ship, as you can see. It's a chubby ship, right? <laughs> I will show you later on. I will show you another version I did. Oh, and there is some some block that got uh, by mistake to the build. 
I want to change that. I don't want to go with that block <laughs> around. This was, um, yeah, when we are switching views or we are painting or something, these, these blocks are always active. And this got activated by mistake. Let's see, modify ship. This block got here by mistake. That's it. Got it. <clears throat> and later on, I will show you another version of the ship I made but with another cockpit and following a different layout okay now okay this thing is a maze right It has many doors. Oh, and I in the wrong direction. Here. <clears throat> okay, so let's select Here we go. So let's see how the warping works. Well, the warping seems fine. There's nothing... Nothing wrong about it. It um, warps smoothly. Okay, so everything fine, nothing... There's no... nothing that is not nominal. We arrived. Oh, and look at that. Well, that's great. We can test. We can test our ability to fight. Where, is, where are they? Ah, there. Wow. 
one down the other another one no it's dead okay that's it but unfortunately we cannot um we cannot salvage anything so okay uh, can deactivate the weapon so i didn't uh, expect that we will have the chance to test our fighting capabilities but as you saw it's it's working fine so we don't have trouble with that that's enough okay so let's see our uh, power consumption okay so it's more or less 50 percent um that's not a problem let's deliver the goods where are we ah oh, here let's deliver the goods Where are the goods here, right? So, one, two, three. There we go. I don't know in this extra oxygen. I don't have a clue where does it come from. Okay, but we completed the mission. So, yeah, it's a capable ship, I will say. So, how would you say that for a spaceship? It's a space worthy ship. So now I want to show you the other uh, model I made. You see here that the visibility of the cockpit is not very good. We, c we can see um, the front part, but um, the sideways is... Um, the side view is prevented by these features I added here, so it has a semblance to the original, the original model. Um, of course, this can be changed, but the price is that it won't have such a semblance. Let's test the speed. 161 meters per second um, yeah it's not a very fast ship so eight astronomical units this is um, the distance we just covered kilometers wow why so fast no idea
Okay, so... Let's see... There we go. I will need this. Um, yeah, let's teleport. Okay, so it's a functional ship. So I wanted to show you guys something. The other model I made. First, I will buy some fuel. Um, yeah, and let's build it. It's called the Loronar Exploring MK2. and <coughs> well i can show it to you here first in the in the design um Lornal mk2 so this is it this is following another um layout you can display the image again the the model so this is following um the even layout and uh well the one of the main differences is the cockpit so this is a, an an even um, layout cockpit and i don't know if you can see the If, if there is more semblance to this one or but I think in any case um, this one looks um, yes it, 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 from the exterior it looks a little bit better I think it's not so chubby this is this is the thing but if I show you the interior the interior, I don't know, it, this is, look at this, 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 um, even design, for me, it, um, it is very inefficient somehow, because, um, you cannot, like, you, you have all this, um, you have this main corridor that is even, so it takes two, um, two blocks wide, um, space and then what I did to like um, somehow take advantage of, of space because otherwise the space is useless and you you don't need that much space for a corridor I play some cargo and batteries here right so I, I got some space to to use but you see that all this center area where we where we have like the sleeping quarters and the lounge and the, the toilet it's gone like we don't have any of that and what do we have well a bunch of doors here and uh, the printer and i have like this uh, med bay here with a uh, with a uh, with a life support and here this engineering station with a shield generator um, this is the engine room and then the turbo lift, but you see that all these things that we have in the like in the main deck they are gone uh, compared to the other model right and here we have like this power room with a bunch of batteries and the ammo loader well this one has a bigger um, 
hydrogen tank um it has this um cargo things storage area but it's basically the same right but i feel that um yeah it has less space okay so we can go into it so you can see it so this is this is the difference when you yeah when when you're you you go for the for the looks or for the functionality and this is there's always like a trade-off somehow there's a trade-off and you have to decide um what are you going to prioritize or what is the compromise right so i feel like yeah i don't know the, this this ship is not um that um all ah, right i need like this to connect to the device manager otherwise ah but wait a second the now i don't where is the power groups now i don't know where are the power groups okay i will Okay, that's the engine. <clears throat> I want to place like, oops, there is something going on here. Which room is this? What is this here? There is some clip in here, but it's not taken oops it's not taking this there's a conflict what is that access port i don't know what is this there's an error there okay and this one this ship has the the salvage units these are salvage unit and this disposal unit I will show you here the this is the cockpit or the bridge this is a bridge because the you see there's a captain seat and everything and you see here that the view it has um, a bigger view right it has a better view so this is the ship I mean it looks better it looks from the exterior it looks better but in the interior i feel like space is wasted but look at this that the, the view is really nice it, you don't have any of this uh, obstruction that you have in in the other model so let's uh, connect to the grip now i think something weird is going on there i think i misplaced something and now um i cannot i just can't open this is where the okay this is where the life support system is unfortunately okay we can just jump here Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. So, um, yeah, we have to like connect to the power.
But I think first we need to to introduce some fuel. Right? There we go. This is the default group. Now the doors are powered. Okay, everything is powered now. But unfortunately, um, I think we cannot uh, place the oxygen. Because there's something strange going on here. I don't know what's, what this is. I placed something wrong. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, there's something. I think it's from... Ah, uh, also here, you see? Yeah, there's something weird definitely going on. I don't know what it is. No, but just here. Okay. Also, the rooms need um, renaming, uh, some of them. So that's it, guys. Um, Tell me what you think in the comments, which one do you prefer? This is um, some sort of yes, trade-off. <laughs> I'm not very happy, but I, I hope that all this um, little series, or I think longer than, than what I expected, um, was useful for you. Um, to see how the design process uh, uh, is or how do I uh, do this design process and help you with your own builds so that's it for this episode I hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like this is Cyber Settler signing off <laughs>